Good morning, welcome to the Daily Squeeze Take 44. Uh, today I want to talk about weekend versus, versus week mindsets. Again, this phone, I think it's um, the lighting in the kitchen. It's just, I can see like a line along the screen and I don't have my light on today either. However, anyways, we'll just keep going. So week, weekday versus weekend um, mind shifts. It's really, really big to be mindful of the way we, we approach the weekend. So all week we've been talking and discussing where our mindset is, um, what our mindset types are, like we don't just have one. Um, especially going into the weekend, you'll see a shift from possibly um, you know, growth where you're trying to work on yourself and then, you know, even the lazy mindset could come in or the short, short term mindset uh, where you just want those short term wins and you want to feel that short term happiness. So you're willing to give up that long term goal for that, that short term happiness. So as you're coming into the weekend, what are your plans? What do you have in store? An example of this is, you know, it's, it's like going on holidays is the bigger example when you're so excited to go on holidays and you try and be really healthy leading up to holidays. You want to, you know, lose a little weight beforehand or be really healthy because you're mindful that you're going to lose or you're going to gain weight on the weekends. So or on holidays. So I want to shift that mindset to weekday versus weekend mode. And it's kind of like a mini holiday for everyone, isn't it? <laughs> it is for us. Like we really like to, I don't know why the phone is doing this. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> can't hit things, Kelly. You cannot hit things. I wonder if I kind of go a little bit more like straight on to the kitchen because but then you see that light coming in I don't know maybe we'll go to the other side of the kitchen next week um but have a think about where you're going for the weekend what you're doing what's planned what would you would like to accomplish what you'd like to accomplish every other weekend in the past that you haven't accomplished to date um Let's be grateful for really thinking about our mindsets this week and wanting to, you know, get to that, wanting that shift to get to that growth mindset so that we can really put in place our goals, our weight loss goals, our, our healthy lifestyle habits. Um, so that we can be that person that we want to be, to feel happier, to feel slimmer, leaner, sexier, more confident, to be able to just go into the closet and put on whatever you want to put on. You know, those are a lot of your goals. Um, every time I talk to my clients or potential clients, my breakthrough sessions, I'm learning so much more about you guys and I'm and about you that I am really excited about what's coming up, especially around the new year. So we're getting into the end of October. We have two months. The holidays are approaching. December is always really, really um, massive for celebrating and getting off track sometimes. So the lead up to December, everyone's quite happy and you know, how am I not going to overeat? How am I not going to overindulge? How am I still going to maintain my sleep? How am I going to keep my stress levels down? There's so many things to talk about, you know, um, self-care, boundaries. All of it, though, stems from where our mindsets are. So our mindsets are really, really important to understand who you are and what you are, where you are. Um, it's it's really critical to know that you're ready to take that next step, which is to really go after your goal. So in saying that, what's your mindset? What's it been all week? 
like you're probably a bit more mindful because I've been talking about mindset all week. I know I have been. I have been, um, I think, more grateful and happier this week just because talking about this all is something that I love. So you may have noticed me smiling more. Um, I think I'm on social a bit more, posting, putting myself out there a bit more because this stuff just really, really amps me up. I love it. So I want to, you know, give you value, give you this information because it, it is helpful. So when thinking about what's going on for the weekend, it's really important to be mindful of what your goals are. Like, don't get to Sunday night and regret some of the decisions you did. Go into the weekend knowing that it's not going to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect, but you know, you'll do some things that are healthier and you know, you still may go and see friends or have a couple drinks, but try and keep the water up. Uh, try and make the healthier food choices if you know you're going to have alcohol. Last weekend, Mark and I, we went out. We stayed at a friend's place Friday. We were out in Cairns. And we crashed a friend's goodbye work drinks. And it was great fun. Um, I don't think either of us have drank that much in a while. I haven't been a big drinker lately. But it was so good to celebrate with people. And um, obviously food choices and like we didn't have a big dinner or anything. There was... There were chips and sweet potato fries and everything like that going around. Um, I really had to stick to the water because it's so humid here. I just feel myself like, you know, <laughs> gorgeous photo. I'm sure that's going to be the screenshot for the video. <laughs> um, be mindful of that, Kelly, but eh, it's who I am. So, you know, we still had a lot of fun on Friday night. We went out to a lovely breakfast Saturday with them breakfast out it's not you know as healthy as a nice bowl of oats at home but still make the make the conscious decisions to to try your best enjoy it while you're having it enjoy it because if if you're you know tense having it and if you're hateful to yourself having it i hate that h word um but essentially that's what we do get um, I do talk to a lot of people who just get really mad at themselves, very frustrated with themselves, and they start to hate themselves for the choices they make after, but they understand that they're making the wrong choice at the time. So that's where you can notice that, okay, this is where my mindset is right now. What do I have to do? What tips or tricks can I implement to get so that when I'm at the decision-making period, I can be more aware and ask myself the right questions or have that right tips, tricks in place where I can make a, a better choice. You don't have to go from like worst choice to you know perfect choice. There's always something in the middle that's really helpful. And it's taking those so, slow steps to get there is the lifestyle healthy habit change. So as you're going into the weekend, be mindful of what you want to accomplish in a month's time. Be mindful of how you want to feel Sunday night, Saturday or Monday morning. If you get those Sunday night blues because work is the next day, what can you do Monday morning that's for you before you go to work? Um, I know a lot of people say they hate waking up earlier, they love their sleep in, but to give yourself an hour of doing something that you love before you have to go to work, it is, and it just makes the day so much better. Helpful, handy little tip and trick. Well, that's the tip. The trick is actually getting up and doing it. But it has to be something you really want to do and you have to have that support system in place as well. So as we're being mindful about our mindsets, <laughs> I love alliteration, so I could I could babble on to you all day. Um, I haven't even had a coffee yet. <laughs> that comes after. So... Yeah, be mindful of your mindset going in from the week to the weekend. What do you want to keep consistent? What do you want to change? I really have slowly drifted over the years into this pattern of, um, I used to do the eat really healthy Monday through Friday, Friday night drinks at work, Saturday, Sunday, everything's really bad. It's pizza. Once you go for the drinks you want, the kebab, you want more 
chips you you want breakfast out you want the really greasy bacon followed up by a decent lunch now that continues into Sunday and by Sunday you're just like Bleh. I felt like that so over my journey what I've noticed is I like to get um, Monday starts off Monday motivated Woo! you can soar for at least two days by Wednesday night let's get out to dinner let's do something different let's not be perfect um, I don't by Sunday night I don't want a salad and I don't want a soup but give me something yummy something different but not something horribly bad so then I have that Wednesday night Thursday, Friday, usually really good. Mark and I don't normally do things Friday nights. So by saying that, our Friday night routine is normally the same as Monday through Thursday. We do go to bed early. We do, um, by going to bed early, if we do have a little bit of, uh, oh, I see a little thumbs up, but I have no idea who's watching me. But <laughs> um, yes, Friday nights are really low key what we do is you know we watch a movie or something still in bed early then saturday night when or saturday morning you know wake up we can either have that little sleep in and wake up that little bit later which is fine or if we're both working which sometimes we do we can still get up take bud for his normal w-a-l-k i-e-s and um make sure that the routine's still kind of there Saturday night we don't usually go to bed much later so our week like weekends are definitely a little bit different but not the end of the spectrum different it's not super healthy to super bad by Saturday night we usually over the weekend we'll usually do breakfast and dinner out or a decent breakfast cook up that's not the best at home so I'm, we're still getting in about three sometimes food meals a, a week but because we've spaced them out and not grouped them all at the end, um, everything's kind of over that week period. So it's kind of spaced out. You, your body knows what to do with it and you don't spend that weekend, that week having to make up for the bad that you're doing over that weekend. So on that note, the best thing to do is be really mindful. Try and write your goals out. If you write them out, you're more likely to um, succeed in achieving them. Ask friends and family for support. I recently told Mark, out of the blue, I didn't even know I wanted this till I said it out loud, but I said, no more pizza in Australia till we get to the US. <laughs> it's still two months away, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, it's homemade pizza and it's takeaway pizza. There are many other options still, but I'm really holding out for New York pizza. I can be healthy till then. I can be healthier. Um, I am nervous about our holiday. Uh, that's why I am being quite mindful these days. I'm, I'm nervous that we are going to gain a lot of weight. I am craving certain foods. I haven't been home to the States in about two years. I would love to say I'm going to have the willpower and I'm perfect and, you know, I'm going to not gain any weight while I'm on holidays and I'm going to be so health coachy. No, that's not me. <laughs> I'm going to eat pizza. I'm going to have drinks with my family. I'm going to celebrate Christmas in New York City. I've never done it. I've always had Christmas in upstate New York. Um, it's mine and Mark's first Christmas in the snow. It's one of Mark's first times um, seeing snow. So it's just going to be a whole um, take our world and turn it upside down completely. So I have to be really mindful um, what I'm doing now so that when I do gain weight, because realistically I'm going to, it's happened every other time I've gone home. Um, I miss my Arby's, I miss, uh, what are those um, pocket pizza things you throw in the microwave? Oh my goodness. Um, oh, there's so much stuff. <laughs> pizza logs, mozzarella sticks, those big deep fried onion things. I need to stop talking about this on this channel. <laughs> Stay tuned for New York. 
at Christmas and what I post. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys though. So I'm being mindful of that now. Like I'm trying to really, um, you know, I'm sitting in the maintain phase quite, quite well these days. Um, I'd love to lose a little bit of weight before I go to the States. So I'm slowly shifting back into that loss phase. I'm doing that by being a lot more mindful. I'm happy with my three, three sometimes meals a, a week. I'm really happy with uh, making healthier choices on those three sometimes meals. I have been going out for a few goodbye drinks with my one friend because she's off to go travel the world with her partner again. <laughs> but if we've met up twice already, there'll be a third time. I'm, I'm quite positive of it. People come into our lives for reasons, seasons, or lifetimes. And if she hasn't got rid of me yet, she's not going to. So yeah, I'm still going to enjoy everything. But in the back of my head, I'm being very mindful of what my goal is. And my goal is to really kind of choose healthier options, the healthiest options I can now, so that when I'm in the States, I don't have to be as conscious and I'm not beating myself up for it. I think that's the, the main key factor for me is not beating myself up about it. Um, and that's what I want you to implement for yourself for weekends. So that's where all this is kind of stemming from in this long roundabout winded waffle of a way. Um, in saying that, uh, I hope this has been helpful. I trust that it has. Please let me know if you have any questions. If you want to find out some healthier, happier habits, there is three main habits that I'm focusing on during a live training, a webinar on Tuesday, the 30th of October at 12 p.m. Um, Eastern Australian Eastern Standard Time, the Brisbane time zone. I know Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne are different right now. Um, daylight savings, but 12 p.m. Brisbane uh, time. Or CAN's time, because that's where I am. I should probably start saying that. But yeah, I'll be doing a live training. Come come join in, learn some healthy habits, and um, have some fun with me. It's a lot more waffle like this, but really good tips and tricks. <laughs> All right, have a great weekend. Be mindful of your choices, and enjoy yourself most of all. Be happy, healthy. Talk to you next week.